Okay, welcome back. It's another episode. Right where we left off. Walking up the stairs. up here resting. Yeah, hey, we're probably eating him. He's he's the main entree. Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Candles. Smart. They need so much morphine for. Huh, where is that cord going? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Gotta follow the cord. Looks like it's going back downstairs. somewhere that cord going? There's a lot coming through there. Oh, yeah. I figured that bookshelf moves. This is pretty cool, it's kind of creepy. she eats. Oh, I gotta run. Run. Spit that out! Lee, what's going on? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. 
You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the no, hell? Thanks. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quiet. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Britta, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true, Blake. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. We outnumber you. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking You're out of here! here my Mommy, fucking family. I don't wanna die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! <gasps> Lee? Lee? I'll tear you apart! Attack. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers. Dad, I'll rip your goddamn heads off. So it looks they like we gotta look for a way out. Come on. Show yourself. Or Could there be a down. hole behind these pallets? Probably not. Won't be that easy. No such luck. There's more of us on the way. Told you, Jelves. Let us out now. Jelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb not up. Gonna help. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking apocalypse gives you the right meat. to chop people uh, into meat? Don't want to know what kind. Dad, this isn't helping. Hey, bastards. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, I knew it. Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? <gasps> no! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's 
had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size! It's him or us. Kenny, listen! Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore. When you all thought Duck was bitten. Well, I'm just doing the same thing. Except Duck wasn't bitten. And we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. I know we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but come on, Lee! You gotta step up for me this time. I need to know you're with me on this. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! What? You're fucking worthless, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> yeah, I tried to save, uh... Save him just to get brownie points with, uh... Are you okay? Lily and piss Kenny off. Is it over? One of the brothers could come back any second. We need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Let's go look at Larry. I'm sorry, Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. Let's go see if we can piss him off. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Dust? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have... No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off. I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. 
I've got a rock. Ah, uh, rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Larry uh -huh. does. He's got 60 cents. He had 60 cents, what the hell? 